Well, thank you, Devin. Always good to have you over here on the couch. We're a little bit of on our mind. It's, you know, we always like to weigh a little bit of the things that have been pressing us, and we all have busy lives. And sometimes life gets in the way of our scheduled dinner time. It honestly happens all the time for me. Pretty much every day if you work these hours. Mm -hmm. But for today's on our mind, we're going to ask, when is it too late to have dinner? Because uh, I know a lot of folks, they like to have it, you know, kind of around the 5 to 7 mark. That's a pretty reasonable you, time. Usually about 4.30, 5.30 on a Friday is mm -hmm. when you start seeing restaurants fill up for, for uh, the fish fry. Oh, yeah. and especially in the summer months, that usually equals a two-hour wait at most restaurants. That's <laughs> true. And it's nice if you get it nice and early like that because then you get a couple hours before you go to bed. But, exactly. Uh, and, I, and that's kind of my thinking there. I mean, obviously, we all have different schedules. But I'd say at least two hours before bed and at the very least least mm -hmm. is what you should be doing before before going right. to bed so, when too. It, so when's it too late Devin that, that's kind of what I was thinking do you want exact time because I mean because yes can well, you eat dinner and then immediately just go to bed I mean some people could do that but it's not healthy for you <laughs> I know some people my mom I lovingly say who will tell me that eating food and then going straight to bed is mm -hmm. very unhealthy for you so that's why they that's why it's always good to at least eat your meal I mean for example if you're if you're a traditional you work nine to five or something like that maybe eating supper at around uh, six 6 30 something like that because if you go to bed at like 9 or 10 o'clock that allows you even more time four hours if even or 6 7 o'clock whatever so allows you so those hours for the food to settle into the stomach before you go to bed that's true that's true well for me I don't know it's uh you know certainly I I don't know I just get you get caught up with things and you get busy you and then before you know it it's just like you know you get home and you look at your watch and you're like well I need to go to bed about five minutes ago to get my eight <laughs> hours and uh it's that happens like two or three times a week honestly and uh then it's just like all right do I make some food now you know lose the sleep but then even if you do make the food get that and then you're going into bed it's like oh so it usually it just, you know, ends up turning into a snack or just, you know, you roll on into bed. Or as Theo says here, come here, Theo. Theo, any time is, is a good time for food. <laughs> it's so true. Any time is good for food. Yeah, though. but the midnight may, snacks are a way to go. May, maybe maybe to eat a little bit lighter before going to bed if you're eating a little bit late. So, maybe so. it is. But we're going to keep moving along this morning because coming up, we have a local water seat team that has a great summer party over in Phelps this weekend. But first, Howard is in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen with a recipe for a fried cheese curds, a Wisconsin favorite. Let's go. 